Good afternoon, all my Crunko heads. This is going to be my first vlog. So today we're going to go to Best Buy and Walmart to see what we can find. Right, Walking over to all the action figures. Nobody tells you how awkward it is to film yourself in public. But, um, I feel like I'm talking really low. Hopefully I can fix that later. I don't know. I'm just anxious. This is my first ever vlog, so hopefully it goes well. <laughs> Alright, I see the movies, we'll be over there. So come over and check out the PlayStation games. They do not really have any good PS5 games, at least what I already have. But, look, once I already have Elden Ring, I don't play baseball, don't really race. Dying Light I have. No, I got all these games. Not a good selection. So in terms of pops, there ain't really much I want. It's a lot of Hamilton figures, or like the Squid Game. There's nothing really that, like, caught my eye. I don't know. Uh, like, The Eternals, I don't really... I didn't really like that movie. I mean, I like the movie, but I'm not going to collect the Funko Pops because it wasn't really worth it. I might, however, get the Selena Kyle on the motorcycle. So, I'll let you know. Grab the Selena. Now I'm going to go check the action figures. In the toy aisle, there's, like, nothing... Marvel here besides like the Titan figures and I'm not a fan of it. But, I mean you got like Avatar, Zuko, Aang. Those are pretty cool. But I'm looking for the Marvel Legends. There's nothing over here except the Batman and like Star Wars and stuff. So I think maybe we should go to Best Buy and see what they got. It really stinks that Walmart doesn't have any Marvel Legends figures. I thought I would get lucky with the uh, Thor Love and Thunder figures, but I think they were um, recalled because I think they were put out too early. So, all right, I guess it's time to check Best Buy now, but I think I am gonna get the Selena Pop. So, right, let's go. Left Walmart, I actually didn't get the Selena Pop. It was just too crazy in there. There was way too many people, the line was too long. And I didn't, want, <laughs> I didn't want to wait. I was getting frustrated because people were being rude and stuff to the workers. So now we're walking over to Best Buy, see if they got any Marvel Legends figures or um, different types of Funko Pops. Just because I want to make a fun video for you guys, you know, to celebrate my first vlog. So hopefully I find stuff. Wish me luck. Best Buy, Funko Pops, Funko Pops, Funko Pops. Gotta find me some Funko Pops. Funko Pops, Funko Pops, Funko Pops. Do they not have any? That's gonna stink if they don't have any. Da, 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 da. Funko Pops. They're usually right here with all the Legos and stuff. I probably look so crazy on this camera right now. I'm trying to find Funko Pops. All right, one second. I found some legends, but I already did a video on Rogue. The Eternals, I don't want, really. But also, this was cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Cobra Kai. So, we got Leonardo versus Miguel. And then they got Donatello versus Johnny. Raphael versus John. Um, this Funko Pop, I'm, I'm not Funko Pop. Marvel Legends figure I might get. The Hydra Stomper, you know, Howard Starks, or no, Steve Rogers suit in the What If series. I don't know. Let's take a look to see if we can find anybody remember this cartoon as a kid. This was one of my favorite shows, Goliath. He was one of my favorite characters. I do like this figure. The problem is, I don't know, his nose looks off to me. That makes sense. But this is really cool. This might be a grab for Man, next they really don't got anything in this Best Buy. I didn't want to go home with a bust. I wanted you guys to actually, like, enjoy me opening something. So, hopefully I can find something. I'm looking. But, yeah, hopefully. And we left Best Buy after hard decision making, but let's see what we got at home. I am finally on my way home. It was very hard today for my first vlog. I feel like it's all over the place. Now, this is probably going to be an unedited video because I am dumb at editing. But we got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I can't wait to do 
a video on my channel, you know, do a um, unboxing, stuff like that. But it should be home in probably like 10 minutes, so see you soon. Guys, I just got back from my uh, collectible hunt, my toy hunt. Um, I went to Walmart and Best Buy today. Now, they did not have anything I really wanted fully. Um, also, yes, I changed my hat. This is going to be my new toy unboxing hat. But I really wanted to find Marvel Legends figures. I mean, they had the Eternals at... Um, best buy but you know didn't get them because i didn't really want to collect them but we got a few things here today so hopefully you guys like what i actually got um if you do please like subscribe and comment what you would want to see what maybe figures i should get what pops i should get on my tiktok it really helps a lot like this is something i love doing so this is like really fun to me that now I feel comfortable enough to film myself and like put it out there on the internet and actually like have you guys see stuff I like. But up first we got the superhero blind bag. It was $9.99 and it says it values over $25. I got this at Best Buy. So let's see if it's actually good. How is this a superhero? So this is Loot Crate Minion Socks. I, okay. I guess they are considered super superheroes because Gru doesn't stay a villain anymore, I guess. Okay, now this says superhero blind bag. Why did they give me a Decepticon wallet. This looks like, um, I don't even know who it's supposed to be. I know it's a Decepticon symbol, but is this supposed to be like Starscream or like Soundwave, I'm assuming? But this is the inside of the wallet. It's not a terrible wallet. Am I going to use it? Probably. Uh, what else? We bear bears pin. I'm I'm a little confused on this box. Well, I'm bag, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even know what this is from. It is what. Appears to be a skull bowl with spoons. I don't know what that's supposed to be from. But that's it. <laughs> that's what's in the bag. Um, the <laughs> it was not superhero related, I guess. I mean, I never really considered like the Transformers series like superheroes and villains. But... Yeah, so that's what's in the bag, you know, a wallet, two pins, and minion socks. I mean, I guess this does value over $25 just because I know Loot Crate is expensive. But, yeah, but, okay. A little weird. Um, Up next, we got Firefly, the complete series. This was one of my favorite shows when I was younger, um, even though I think it came out before I was born. But it always holds a special place in my heart. I really wish they were able to like continue it. I think they are on Disney Plus. I'm not sure, but it was just really cool. And like, this is what made me love Nathan Fillion as like an actor. He's very underrated. But love this show, you know, 14 episodes. It comes with all 14 episodes, 11 broadcasts, and three unaired episodes. Then you had the Firefly cast roundtable, audio commentary, three behind-the-scenes features, four deleted scenes, gag reel, audition tapes, and more. 
Um, yeah, if you've never seen Firefly, it's basically, how do I say this? It's basically like R-rated, well, M-rated, is it R? Either way, it's like badass killing like Star Wars and Star Trek and all that, all rolled into one. Up next, we got the DC McFarlane toys, the multiverse. We got Armored Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. So in this set, it looks like there's Batwoman from Batman Beyond, Wonder Woman from Dark Knight's Death Metal, The Flash Hot Pursuit from Injustice 2 in his white suit, Batman from the Justice League, and Dark Seed. Is it Dark Seed or Dark Side? I don't know. From Justice League, but I don't know if you can really see them. For this, I, I am using my iPhone camera. I am new to all this, so any tips in the comments would be greatly appreciated. Um, let's go. Oh my god. Did not want to open. I'm trying to keep this video a little longer because my previous ones were kind of short. I don't want people to be like, dang, he's not putting any effort in his videos. I'm trying. I really am. I swear. I swear I'm trying. You know, I want I want to make everybody happy, all my toy collectors. Um, how do I take this out? Um... I'll figure out how to take the stand out, but it comes with a stand and a card. All right. Let's... So, looking at the figure, the only thing I'm not a fan of is the cape. I don't know, I really wish they could have went with like a cloth cape, because like, I don't know. For me, it kind of takes away from the figure, but all in all, it's really cool. I don't know why. Oh my god. Is it? His arm was stiff, but, um, well, hand just popped off. Man, I am weak. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know where the other hand went, but is there like something wrong? I don't understand. I don't understand why it goes in. There's nothing wrong with it i'm pushing it in uh, anyway i'll figure that out in a minute i'm getting too stressed out <laughs> and i wanted to show you guys the rest of them
So yeah, this is Armored Batman. We'll pretend he lost a hand in the fight with Superman. Okay. On to the next McFarlane figure. This time we got Red Hood from Gotham Knights. So this is that new game coming out. In my opinion, he's pretty cool. I don't... Hold on, you'll see my issue with this figure in a minute. But in this set, it's Wonder Woman, designed by Todd McFarlane. The Demon from Gotham, uh, from Demon Knight. Isn't the Demon Etrigan? Or unless they're two different characters. Then there's the Bat Cycle from Batman Curse of the White Knight. Then there's Dr. Fate from Injustice 2. And then King Shazam, the Infected. But let's open this figure up. This one also comes with a card and a stand. I'll do that in a minute. See, it's getting easier, you know. The more I try, the more I succeed. Also, if you can hear that, that's my cat and my dog messing around. Okay, I actually like the feel for this figure. I've always been a fan of Jason Todd's Red Hood, and I really like the mask. I really like Jason's figure in this. So you can see. It's a um, really neat figure. Jason Todd. Who's excited for this game? Gotham Knights. I'm a little on the fence for it because I know it's set in the same universe as the Arkham series, I believe. And this is like right after like Batman dies. Or maybe I'm getting this mixed up with Kill the Justice League video game. But Gotham Knights, it looks fun. You get to play as Batgirl, Nightwing, I think Tim Drake's Robin and Jason Todd's Red Hood. So that should be cool. Um, I don't really know anything about the game except that Bruce Wayne is dead, well, Batman's dead, and so they're kind of, like, filling in the shoes for him and keeping the criminals scared. It's a really cool figure. Alright, on to my last figure, which is probably my favorite. Hopefully you've all seen this cartoon. Gargoyles. This is Goliath, the leader of them. So it says, Frozen in stone by day, flesh and blood-winged warriors by night, awaking after a thousand years, a band of powerful gargoyles find themselves transported to a time and place not their own, New York City. Here, the misunderstood creatures battle modern-day barbarians and struggle to understand their strange new world. Gargoyles, the legend begins. This was another TV show that I believe got canceled. I don't think they finished it. Um, I can't remember for the life of me. It's been a long time since I've watched it. So, but I love the show. I mean, you had you had Keith David voicing it, voicing uh, Goliath, and you can never go wrong with Keith David voice acting. I mean. He was Spawn for crying out loud. You know, he's amazing. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a big figure. His wings are huge. They're like... They're bigger than my head. They're bigger than my face. Big wings. 
His tail's huge too. goof I didn't see that he has a uh, tide around them so many ties on it. Can I just rip them out of it? Yes, I can. Okay. This is the base figure. I really like that. He got his basically a mullet <laughs> but this is the base figure I'm trying to get him to stand but yeah I love this figure um, it's very clean. Wow. They did a good job. Man, his hair's in the way. And this figure is going to be very top heavy. down for a second.
pin with the different head on them. So yeah, this figure is awesome. Goliath is awesome, like comparison. Big. <laughs> he is an amazing figure. Um, the figure also comes with the, the book and all that from the show. I forget. I think the book brought them to life, if I'm not mistaken. I forget the cartoon. But yes, yeah, so this is about it. For, oh my god, I totally for, forgot to put the tail on. Why does nothing want to go in the things that they're supposed to go into? But, okay, there's the tail. Tail's bendy. So, yes. So this is it for my uh, Walmart Best Buy haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please smash the, the crap out of the like button. Please subscribe and please comment what you would want to see. Things I can do to improve my channel. I really want to bring these toys and collectibles to you guys. You know, the people who want to buy it but can't find it or want to see someone else's opinion on it this is the stuff i want to do stuff i like i have action figures you can see all those on my youtube channel um yeah and let me know if there's something you guys would want me to collect like say if you've never seen someone collect i don't know yokai watch or something like that and you guys want me to try and find it when i go out I'll do it. I'll do what you guys comment, what you guys ask. I really want to make this fun and entertaining for you guys. And <laughs> whatever I can do to improve it, to keep you interested, let me know. So as always, thank you for coming to my channel. You guys are a Crunko family. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.